Okay, so here's the space we're working with. We have a good amount of space compared to our last closet, if you remember. Um, we've got some space behind the door. As you can see, it's like kind of a disaster in here. I just, I tried to unpack so that we could find clothes and shoes. I actually found a bag of clothes when we moved underneath my bed that I totally forgot about. So I need to add some more clothes up here. And then we lost a lot of drawer space because we got new um, dressers. I'm not sure what to do with all my pants. So I got to figure out some sort of storage solution, but there's plenty of space in here. And I think I'm going to use that for some jewelry. We have some boxes that we're going to build that are going to go down here for, or they're like cubes. I actually got the idea completely from Ashley from Till Vacuum Do Us Part. So I cannot take credit for it at all, but I just got the bins from Walmart. I'll show you them in a second. So I'm going to be putting them all down here and they're going to hold shoes. Then I have like a rug and an ottoman and some other things that I'm going to be unpacking right there. I will have all the links down in the description box. We got this bin from um, Target. It is a new laundry basket and we really like it. So I'll link that for you as well. I'm a little bit overwhelmed, but I wanna start by putting all the clothes in rainbow order and getting clothes like specified. So like where Sean's clothes will go, cause those are Sean's and those are Sean's and then these are all mine. So, oh, and those are some of Sean's. So I gotta figure this out. Okay, the other thing I forgot to mention is I think that these boxes are all of our new hangers. These are the hangers that we went with. I'll have them linked in the description box, but I'm going to um, switch all of these plastic hangers out for these like velvet hangers. Okay, so while I am working on the closet, I'm just going to take a little quick break and grab a built bar. I keep one of these boxes in my room. I know it's funny. And then I keep one downstairs in the kitchen. And it's really cool because they have 17 grams of protein. So they definitely like fill me up and give me a little bit of energy. So I'm gonna be trying the raspberry flavor today and they're all covered in chocolate. So it's like chocolate and raspberry and it's seriously so delicious. So I wanted to thank Built Bar for sponsoring today's video. They have so many great flavors. This one is peanut butter brownie. They have this coconut almond one. They have carrot cake with walnuts. I'm like really excited to try that one because I feel like it's really unique and I just think that it's going to taste really good. So my first step is getting all the clothes put together that are mine and all of Sean's clothes in one place as well. And then I'm gonna start putting them in rainbow order again. I was laughing just there because I found a wetsuit from like my 20s and I was like, I will never fit in this again. I need to sell this. You can see that my clothes were starting to get in rainbow order here, which is just, it's so like nice to look at. It's just appealing to the eye. So I love having my clothes in rainbow order. I did this at my last condo and I absolutely loved doing it. If you haven't done it or haven't done it for a while, you should give it a try. Okay, update. I put my clothes in rainbow order. I'm gonna do that to Sean's too. And I just gotta figure out if I want Sean's clothes here or up there. We have a lot of extra space, so I'm going to spread these out um, so that you can like see the clothes better. But apparently we're just gonna have to go clothing shopping. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But seriously, we have a lot of space that we actually don't need, which I've never said in my life before. Yeah, and then here's the hangers. They come in a box like this and it just says Amazon basics and then they're all like this. So 
Like I said, those will be linked if you are in the market for some new hangers. So I wanted to invite you, if you are new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button if you like these types of videos. We recently moved and I'm doing lots of different room makeover type videos. So if you like that kind of content, make sure you stick around and join my subscriber family. Don't forget to turn the bell notifications on because that is one of the only ways that you will get to see my videos show up in your newsfeed. So I decided I wanted to move all of Sean's clothes to the other side of the closet. I just wanted to kind of see how it felt having them all over there. And in the end, I really didn't like it. I just felt like it was awkward, like the way that the closet was laid out. I felt like there was like, just, I don't know. It just didn't work for me. And that's one of the things that I like about organizing is it's kind of like a creative process. You can kind of move things around and, and like if you like it, great. If you don't, switch it back. Here's all the hangers that I got up that were just extra hangers. So I wanted to start switching them all out in my section and then in a little bit I'll do Sean's. So there's no way I'm going to video myself changing out all of Sean's hangers. So in the next scene, you're going to see them all changed out. Ready, set. This is just a creative process. So I'm going to move all of Sean's clothes back over to this side because I just, I'm not feeling it over there. It's just not, there's like a shelf under here too. And I was thinking it might be nice to kind of use that shelf. So if I move everything back over here, we can use the shelf. So I'm gonna switch it all back up. Okay, so I have all of Sean's hangers switched over and it looks so much better. I just feel like it looks so much nicer with these hangers, I don't know. And then I put my dresses back here in the corner because it has like this bar and it will not be blocking the shoe bins. So I did that. And then here's all of mine. So I'm just gonna spread mine out over this whole bar. And then next I need to get all of like the random clothes that's sitting around. I need to get it, pull it out, organize it. There's hats in there, there's scarves. And then after that, we will tackle the shoes, which I'm most excited about because I wanna pull those shoe bins in here, but I will wait until the end. So now I'm just going to start pulling all of like my hats and the sweatpants and the pajamas and jeans and all those things and getting them all organized, organized by Sean's stuff and then with my stuff. And then um, I wanted to kind of just brainstorm ideas for what I was going to do with that stuff. So recently I saw some people talking on Instagram about hanging your jeans 
and I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, but in the end, I really, really like having my jeans hung. I never can see like what I have, but I feel like after putting them all up together, it's like so nice to be able to see all the jeans that I have just at a glance. I know this is kind of different, but I've seen this on Instagram where people hang their jeans up and I actually really liked it. And I don't have space in my drawers for jeans. So I'm kind of thinking, I don't know if I hung them up right though. It, there might be like a prettier way to hang them. I'm not really sure. So I'm gonna leave it for now. And I need to get like some bins to put these in cause it's like shorts workout clothes, pajamas, and then I have some pants for Sean and some sweatpants for Sean. I need to figure out where those are gonna go. I think I'm going to go eat some lunch and take a break because this is taking me a long time. <laughs> so now we're gonna head into the section where Sean helps me set up all of the shoe bins. So like I said a couple times already, Ashley from Till Vacuum Do Us Part is the one who gave me this idea to do these shoe bins. They're from Walmart and I'll make sure that they're linked in the description, but they're pretty easy to put together, nothing too crazy. And Sean is re really very handy at doing projects like this or pretty much any projects around the house. So really nice having him there just so that he can help me I could probably have done it but it would probably would have taken me all day long so he helped me put these things together the very end I hopped in and did a little bit of work in helping to put them together and then I had my little huddy buddy who was hanging out with me and was so interested in what was going on so it was really cute watching him just kind of hang out and stare. We put together these bins. Like I said before, I completely took this idea from Ashley from Till Vacuum Dose Part. I'll link her channel down below if you have not heard of her. She is amazing and uh, she puts her shoes in these bins and they're from Walmart. So I'm gonna move them into the closet and start putting the shoes together. And I have a little helper. <clears throat> Hi. Fiona girl is going to help me pair up all the shoes. So. so now I'm just going to be putting them all in their place and kind of getting them situated. Fiona was actually really helpful with the shoes and like pairing them all up and stuff like that. So I really appreciated her and it's fun kind of like having her join me in some of these projects just because I know she enjoys it and I enjoy it and I think it's good for her to kind of like learn how to do some of these things and um, just good like to spend time together. Okay, so we got everything moved in for the shoe racks. Matching <laughs> shoes! Fiona's laughing because me and Sean have matching shoes. One of those is mine, one of those is his. I'm pretty sure this is mom's and that's... Yeah. Anyways, I really, really really like these shoe bins. <laughs> That's good. Now comes the fun part of actually deciding which shoes go where. I had so much fun putting them away and deciding, you know, which ones we were gonna put out. And then I decided in the end to put all of my sandals in a shoe holder in the guest bedroom just because I'm not wearing sandals right now. It's too cold outside. So I'll have those switch back over once I get rid of my boots or not get rid of them, but once I put them away um, for the summer. 
to some of the final parts of the video and getting the closet all together. I just wanted to give it like a really good vacuum and it felt so good to see those vacuum lines, vacuum lines on fleek. If you've been here for a long time, you know that we've said that on my channel for a very long time, but I just feel like it looks a thousand times better with those vacuum lines. Next up, we got this really cool gray furry rug from Amazon and it had been folded so it needed a little bit of fluffing, but um, I really love the way that it turned out. Again, that'll be linked below, but um, it was super affordable and I really, really liked it. And then we just got this little ottoman to go on top of it so that when you're putting your shoes on, you can sit down. Are so in love with our closet I know it sounds funny because it's just a closet but it is exactly what we wanted it to look like and we have just been loving getting dressed in here and all that stuff so if you like it make sure you give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe before leaving and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys